at first he tried to um, keep the bruises and everything to a minimum, and it started to, you know, the verbal then, after a couple of smacks in the head or something. Um, then it went to being called every name in the book, and you're nothing but a piece of garbage, and I don't even know why I like you, what are you doing here? And probably by the third year of our marriage, um, it was in full out, um, you might say knock down, drag out um, violence. He did rape me and use alcohol to, you know, to cover it up again. And I asked him about it, you know, and he said, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. So you can't prove it. Alcohol, it's a, it's a common excuse. So please don't arrest me, I won't do it again. Right, right. Just let me go, let me, can you separate us for the night? I'll sober up and I, I would never do this again. Have you been around a lot of men who drink? Why, yes, I have. Lots and lots of men who are also drinking? Why, yes, I have. Fathers, brothers, uncles, friends at school, friends in the work environment, people I know, lots of them. How many of them were violent to you? Oh, one or two. I realized, you know, now that it was just an excuse, a cop out, so he could do what he wanted and say, you know, I'm sorry, I felt last night I got trashed or things like that. And he said, they're kicking me out of the military and it's all your fault. And I said, well, how do you figure it's my fault? He said, well, I drink to, to escape you. And I said, you drink because you're an alcoholic and because you can't control it. And I said, I drink to escape you. To me, drinking was the best because you're more flexible. And if you're going to be thrown down the stairs or something, you're not tense, so you don't tend to hurt as much. He wanted to show me uh, something that she had done, and he happened to take this diary out. And the diary contained where she went, uh, you know, how much money she's given to spend on groceries, the people that she's allowed to talk with, um, every aspect, where she goes, who she knows, he is in charge of that. You know, we really work hard at being that support system. And, and I think that for anybody who's going to be working with battered women, whether in social work or nursing or any other field, is the reaching out, letting them know it's not their fault, holding their hand, and walking them through this process.